Alright, hey guys. Uh, welcome to another SW Box app review. Uh, this week we're going to be reviewing uh, an app called Flight Control. Now this is a very popular app on the iPhone and iPod series. I did uh, upload it to my HTC uh, phone, so it is available on Android as well. And uh, I think it's just loading up right now. Okay, so I'm going to be sharing with you some advanced tactics for what I use to get my high score, which is uh, 937. Now I know that that's not as impressive as some of the other people that have, you know, five, four or five digit scores, but uh, in our company at least, it's, it's fairly impressive. I think the second highest is in the high 100s. But, alright, so I'm going to just start. Now when I like to start it off, I always uh, lock on to double speed. The reason why is uh, in the beginning, there's not enough planes to really concern myself with the multitasking. Um, generally, I've played it enough that I have a, f a good idea of the distances and the timing of at least these planes. The yellow ones not as much because there's not as many of them. The red ones are definitely the most popular uh, planes and then the helicopter are even less popular. The helicopters usually start appearing after you've landed about six or seven. Um, six or seven aircrafts. Let's see, the next one should be a helicopter. There you go. Yeah. So that's usually when it is. Whoa, I missed that one completely. So the, the first tip I say is, yeah, have the, have the double going on, uh, the double time locked on, if you're, if you're comfortable already, until about, let's see, until about, I, I usually until the big planes start coming in. So there's giant red planes coming in, usually at the 30 mark. Um, if I'm feeling, you know, a little adventurous and, well, uh, I want to rush my score a little bit, I will probably keep it on until 60. Okay, well, that's the first one. That, that's also, you know, based on your comfort level and everything. Uh, the next thing I like to say, big planes already showing up and it's only 17 planes landed. Uh, the next thing I like to do is I like to keep this area here for the red planes. I try to keep, obviously, the helicopters um, in this top area and the yellow planes in this area. I generally have a flight plan or a flight guide that I try to keep them all more or less within the same um, area. Here's another tip that planes can actually ride along their uh, train path, their, I don't even know how to say this, their runway, their runway path. Oh, son of a gun. Yeah, okay. It's hard to do a review when you're talking about it and playing it at the same time. Okay, oh, I'll try it again. Anyway, what I was trying to say is that, for example, this plane, I can make it run along its, run its path before coming in for a landing, which sometimes can be very, very useful, especially when you're trying to clear it out of, um, you know, out of danger. Uh, especially nice about this method is that no other plane should be along this run path. I mean, no other non-red colored plane should be along that path, path, path. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's that's the first part there. Uh, I usually like doing that, especially with the red ones, because I find that they there's a lot of them and they fly kind of everywhere, uh, or at least they enter everywhere. The helicopters will be the most annoying. The reason why is that they're just so bloody slow, and they take forever to get to their pads. So you're constantly going to be watching out for them to make sure that none of your planes that are going you know four or five times, ten times faster won't crash into it. Um, as long as you can keep your plane, your helicopters generally focused in one area, which is easier in the beginning because they're not as random. Uh, near the, when I got to the, what is it, the past 100 level, I had helicopters coming there, 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 everywhere pretty much. So that, that kind of annoyed me. Um, let's see, anything else I can think of? Oh, the big planes, always as much as possible land them first because they do go twice as fast as any other plane. Oh my god. And um, that's about it really. Uh, sometimes I send these smaller red planes to the abyss, which would be like the corners, um, if they're getting in the way when I try to land the big planes first. Uh, the benefit of landing the big planes is they're the biggest, so they're the easiest to crash into other planes. So I generally, and they're also the fastest, so they generally dock a lot faster than other planes would. That's another benefit of it. Um, so usually up to this point, I remove the lock. I still keep it on double. I would still generally keep it on double time. 
um, which automatically disintegrates once uh, planes come within you know crashing distance, which is nice to have. Um, that way you can double check to make sure that you know your paths that you've set won't end up screwing you over. Do you see how I kind of mimic each other's plan there? The, the reason for doing that is that it generally is um, overall better. Uh, that's going to be a tight one. Okay, it's fine. But generally it's more organized. Always try to keep the planes, uh, especially if their entries are relatively close to each other, flying around the same path. That way the timing you don't have to predict as much. Uh, that was kind of stupid, but I'll still go with it. Um, so we have a couple planes going in the same path here. This is going to be interesting because it's going to be tight. Oh boy. Okay, that's going to land. Then I'm going to get this big plane in, and then I'm going to get that one in. This one's going to cut across here. The reason why I usually do that is because the big planes I can round about, and um, they never really have to cut around here. The yellow planes can go through there, and the helicopters I try to keep on this side. Uh, there's a big plane coming in here. Uh, let's see if I can get that landed in first. Okay, perfect. And once I have all that set up, now I can go back on double speed. And generally, it should be pretty smooth sailing. Um, always be aware of the exclamation marks, because that always tells you when an entry is coming in. I am most worried when um, I have a helicopter or a yellow plane near the edge, because if it's a red, if it's the big jumbo red plane, that thing's most likely going to be crashing. Uh, this is going to be annoying because that helicopter is really slow. So I generally try to go behind them whenever I try to fly through. The reason why is that if I try to cut in between, oh wow, this is going to be messy. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, I'm going to send that one back because I'm not liking how... Oh boy. Oh my god. Why? Why would you do that? Yeah. Alright guys, well those are some examples of uh, not really advanced tactics, but just some, some tips that, uh, that I use to uh, help me achieve my high score. Um, if you guys have any tips or suggestions, feel free to post it in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. And uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Alright, take care. Have a great day.